Today, let's talk about perfumes. Sobrang dami ko kasing na-accumulate na perfume this past couple of weeks. Yung iba dito, binili ko yung iba naman si Nend. And since na-test ko na silang lahat, I thought it would be nice na i-share sa inyo yung thoughts ko about all of these perfumes. This is actually sort of like a mishmash video about perfume kasi guys, combination siya ng haul, reviews, as well as recommendations ng mga affordable dupe for expensive perfumes. Medyo matagal na yung last time since bumili ako ng expensive perfumes kaya naman I decided to treat myself and bumili ako ng tatlo. This is basically my treat sa aking self kasi wala lang. Gusto ko lang. Bakit ba? Two of which, by the way, blind by Tapos this one naman na test ko na before may decant ako kaya I know na how it smells. And ito yung first perfume na binili ko for myself. This one, by the way, is a niche perfume brand. Yung tawag sa kanya is Nishanay. And yung perfume na pinili ko is called 100 Silent Ways. Bumili kasi ako ng decant nito before sa Shopee. And ever since that time, I knew I had to get my hands on this, kaya lang medyo na ano siya, napatagal. But finally, after so many months, kasi guys, December ko pa siyang gustong bilhin. It is finally mine, and I'm super duper happy. Super nice na experience na may mga ganito. It comes with a card, so at yung envelope niya, and this is how the card looks like. And this is how the perfume looks like. Oh my god, it's so nice! Diba? Sobrang ganda ng presentation niya. Oh my god, kaka-open ko pa lang para amoy na amoy ko na siya, nakakakilig. And here are the perfume notes. For those of you who love gourmands, this is for sure something you will enjoy. Again, love at first sniff. As an in initial spray ko pa lang nung bumili ako ng decant, I knew I had to get my hands on a bottle. You can definitely smell dito yung white flowers, yung peach, yung vanilla. It is sweet, creamy, sobrang yummy ng scent. I'm obsessed. Super nice din ang initial spray niya, guys. Kasi sobrang airy, sobrang fluffy. Kasi yung maamoy niyo is yung white flowers and also yung mandarin. Tapos it turns into a creamy, peachy scent na after. Just think of peach with whipped cream. To my nose, that is what 100 Silent Way smells. Performance-wise, this lasts all throughout the day, guys. As in, kahit the next day, kapag ka ini-spray ko to sa damit, amoy na amoy ko pa din siya. As in, ang kapit talaga. And also, extreme perfume kasi siya, guys. Kaya talagang potent and makapit and long-lasting. This next one is yung Blind Buy. And this is from Mancera, which is a niche perfume brand. And yung name ng perfume na binili ko is Choco Violet or Violet. Just an FYI, guys, ha? I don't recommend Blind Buying, especially yung mga expensive perfume like this one. Kasi diba, baka mamaya hindi nyo magustuhan. Sa akin naman kasi alam ko na yung mga ano ko eh, taste ko when it comes sa perfumes. And talaga nagre-research ako, binabasa ko yung reviews and also yung mga notes. Kaya, okay lang. I forgot to show you guys, but this is how the box looks like. And once you open it, as you guys can see, merong sleeve or pouch yung perfume. And I super love this bottle kasi diba, sleek, simple, and also magnetic siya. But they also have yung ni-screw. And here are the perfume notes. Another gourmand perfume, of course. And I'm super duper happy kasi guys, successful blind buy. Kasi kung palpak, feeling ko iiyak ako guys kasi ang mahal niya. Meron siyang hazelnut, meron siyang orange, vanilla. So basically yung amin niya is powdery, chocolate, it's sweet. I'm obsessed. I love this so much. Longevity and performance-wise, this is a beast. Three to four sprays of this one is actually a lot already. Sobrang potent nitong perfume na to. This is such a beautiful and unique scent to my nose, guys. Kasi diba, combination siya ng citrus or ng orange, pero siya chocolate, powdery because of the violet. Such a treat to smell. Need to stop blind buying, oh my god. Anyway, this is my third perfume. This is again from Mancera and yung tawag naman sa kanya is Roses Vanille. Honestly, hindi ako ganun ka-confident kung tama yung pag-pronounce ko. Kaya ang itatawag ko na lang sa kanya is Roses Vanilla since ayun naman siya. And this is how the perfume looks like. Same lang naman siya ng presentation and packaging sa una. So, hindi ko na pinakita. But yeah, at yung bottle niya. But unlike this one, Choco Violet, itong Roses Vanille is actually screw cup. Ayan. Which I actually really like kasi diba, mas safe and secure siya. Especially kung kayo yung klase ng tao na kapag kumukuha ng perfume sa pinakatake pinahawakan. And here are the perfume notes. Another successful blind buy and I'm super happy to have this in my collection kasi I don't have anything like this eh. Initial spray, you can definitely smell yung lemon but after a few seconds, it dissipates. Then after that, yung maamin niya na dito is yung rose. And the good thing about this is that yung rose na meron siya doesn't smell mature or pang matanda. Very jammy siya. This is actually not a complicated scent since konti lang yung notes and ayun nga. This perfume is basically straight up rose, sugar, and vanilla. Ang ganda ng combination ng scent, it's feminine, it's sweet, at the same time flirty and fun. Performance-wise, I don't have anything bad to say kasi same sa isang mansera. This is also a beast. One of those perfumes na two sprays lang guys, talagang makaamoy ka na sa buong room and 
sobrang long lasting as in the next day maaamoy mo pa siya yung damit kong nagamit na nasa labahan naaamoy ko pa to for those of you who love perfumes na merong notes ng rose and vanilla you will definitely enjoy this I promise sa mga affordable perfumes naman tayo this time first up we have Choco Musk by Al Rehab and here are the perfume notes if you guys love chocolate perfumes, you definitely need to get your hands on this kasi guys, ang bango niya. And also ang mura. Although to be honest ha, initially medyo skeptical ako sa perfume na to mainly because of the packaging kasi diba it's not like super cute. To make it simple, this one basically smells like milk chocolate, vanilla, and marshmallow. It is sweet, milky, chocolate, smells like vanilla marshmallow. Very long lasting as well guys kasi over 8 hours kapag kayo ni-spray ko siya sa damit, amoy na amoy ko pa din. And the best part about this perfume is it is only 400 to 500 pesos for 50 ml. Great value for money. Unfortunately, sold out to ngayon sa Shopee ever since pinost ko siya sa aking IG and also sa TikTok. I believe yung available na lang nito and makikita nyo sa Shopee is yung roller type, yung perfume oil, which I also recommend kasi diba kapag ka perfume oil, wala siyang halong alcohol. So basically, mas potent and mas strong siya. Kaya if you want to try this, I suggest na sa perfume oil muna kayo mag-start. This next one is also from Al Rehab and yung tawag sa perfume na to is soft. And here are the perfume notes. And this one, definitely, sobrang magugustuhan siya, especially ng teens. It's sweet, it's playful, sobrang fun. Love this one as well. Sobrang uplifting ng scent. And this one is actually a dupe for pink sugar. Kaya naman, if you love this, kaya lang medyo namamahalan kayo, then get this one instead. These two are like sisters, as in, when you look at the notes, kapag ka sinerch nyo, ang daming notes na magkapareho. Scent-wise, sobrang identical as well. I'd say 95 to 100%. Ganun silang kaklose sa isa't isa. Trust me guys, even though this one is only 35 ml since EDP siya, this one is actually EDP. This one will last you for a very long time kasi 2 sprays lang, katumbas na ng 4 sprays nito. Ganun siyang kastrong. Kaya I suggest that if you love this or if you want to try this or kaya naman kung nasubukan nyo na siya tapos medyo namamahalan nga kayo. Ito na lang kunin nyo guys, Al Rehab Soft kasi they are literally the same. This is so good guys, I promise. Same dito sa pink sugar, may pink cotton candy siya. Next up, another perfume from Al Rehab and this one is called Dalal. And here are the perfume notes. This one is also a gourmand perfume but yung difference niya lang is that hindi siya yung super sweet type of gourmand. This one is definitely more sophisticated, more cozy, and hindi siya yung parang juvenile or pang child. Most of the time kasi diba yung mga caramel scents that we know sobrang sweet, sobrang cloying, but this one hindi. To my nose para siyang ano, salty caramel. It's very warm and rich. And dito naman sa perfume na to actually what it reminds me of is the Juicy Couture Gold Couture. 80 to 85% close. Yung difference lang ni is that dito sa Juicy Couture, sweeter siya and also may florals while this one nga, hindi siya ganun ka-sweet. So basically, the lal to my nose is like a more sophisticated version of Juicy Couture Gold Couture. So yeah, having said that, if you feel like Juicy Couture Gold Couture is too sweet for your preference or liking, then I suggest na subukan nyo si Dalal. This 50ml bottle is about 350 to 400 pesos lang. These ones are actually sent to me by one of the stores na pinafollow ko sa Shopee which is Perfumery by Nia. Which also happens to be yung pinagbilihan ko nitong Choco Violet ng Mancera. Actually, medyo nahiya nga ako sa kanya sa Shopee nung nag-message siya kasi diba ang mahal ng perfumes. But super generous niya. Kaya if you're watching this, Miss Nia, thank you so so much. Ilalagay ko na lang sa screen yung kanilang Shopee and also sa description yung link. And going back dito sa mga perfumes, these ones are basically yung mga dupes or alternative sa mga expensive perfumes. Mga Middle Eastern brands to. And again, I have here three perfumes na ipapakita sa inyo. First up, we have Pandora Sense Roses Vanilla. And here are the perfume notes. And this one is actually an alternative for Mancera's Roses Vanilla which I own. Kaya super happy ko talaga when I received this kasi maipagko-compare ko talaga sila. Look at the bottle, sobrang nice. Again, na-test ko na tong perfume na to guys, even side-to-side -side comparison and I can confidently say na 95% close siya. Mas marami lang vanilla si Mancera but overall guys, kapag ka in-spray nyo na, they are so close. Performance-wise, actually super competitive din niya as in hindi siya nagpapatalo kasi long-lasting din to. 7 to 8 hours, amoy na amoy pa din siya sa damit and talagang kumakapit. No joke guys, subukan yung bumili ng tig isang decant nito, ipag-compare nyo side by side, sobrang pareho talaga, sobrang close. If you want to smell like this perfume without breaking the bank, I suggest na eto na lang yung bilhin nyo guys kasi sobrang pareho nila. This one I'm holding naman is a dupe for a Dior perfume na hindi ko mapronounce kaya ilalagay ko na lang sa screen. Fanatic Delicious yung name ng perfume and it is by Emir. And here are the perfume notes. Sobrang class and also magnetic yung cup. Kaya sobrang ganda. Hmm? 
Unfortunately, hindi ko pa nasusubukan yung perfume ng Dior na reference nito guys, but I can confirm that this one smells amazing. And kung same talaga sila ng scent, I definitely need to get my hands on that. I need to try it kasi guys, sobrang bango. By the way, this one nga pala unisex yung scent niya. Dito sa perfume na to, you can definitely smell yung mint, yung lavender, yung cherry, meron siyang vanilla, meron siyang sandalwood. Sobrang nice ng blend and yung combination. It's powdery, it's woody, it's spicy. A little bit minty as well kasi meron siyang mint. Sobrang natuwa ako guys kasi this is something new sa collection ko. And also maganda yung performance ni guys kasi 6 to 7 hours amoy na amoy ko pa siya sa suot kong damit. Ito yung final perfume na sinan sa akin ng Perfumery by Nia and this one is a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Fragrance World Lost Cherry. Anyway, this is how the packaging looks like. Super nice ng quality. It's thick. And of course, once you lift this, makikita nyo na yung bottle. And here are the perfume notes. Unfortunately, I do not own Tom Ford's Lost Cherry kasi diba it is super expensive. However, bumili ako ng decant before to test and I can confidently say that this one is 90 to 95% close. Sobrang kuhang-kuhang nila yung mga notes na meron to. Of course, mas maraming notes sa Tom Ford kaya mas ano siya. Complex ba yung term? Nakalimutan ko yung term, but ayun nga, mas maraming notes sa Tom Ford, but in terms of, you know, yung maaamin nyo talaga, kung hindi naman kayo yung super specific, again, sobrang close nga nila sa isa't isa. Longevity-wise, of course, mas long-lasting yung sa Tom Ford, but this one is actually pretty good. When I tested this, over 6 hours, na naaamin ko pa siya sa clothes, but hindi na ganun ka-strong. Which I don't mind. Ako naman kasi yung type of person na mahilig talaga mag-reapply or re-spray ng perfume. Kaya even if I have to spray this a couple of times a day, okay na okay lang. This is really good. And same sa Tom Ford. It's cozy, it's yummy, it's sexy. Very sophisticated type of cherry perfume. And yung pinaka-prominent dito sa perfume na to, of course, is yung cherry, yung bitter almond. Slightly powdery as well. I think meron din siyang tongka bean and vanilla. Great alternative, guys, sa lost cherry ng Tom Ford, I promise. Again, all of these perfumes available sa Perfumery by Nia on Shopee. Kaya naman, if you're looking for alternative sa mga pricey or expensive na perfumes. And also, kung naghahanap kayo ng mga Middle Eastern perfumes and niche brands, make sure to check them out, guys, kasi sobrang daming selection. I don't have anything against people na gumagamit ng mga replica, but personally, for me, guys, mas prefer ko yung ganito. Yung mga alternative or inspired perfumes rather than something na talagang kinapi lahat. Ito kasing mga to, ba Inspired sila, but also at the same time, may sarili silang brand. But of course, at the end of the day, pera nyo yan, so bahala kayo kung paano nyo gagastusin. But if ako yung tatanungin nyo, guys, of course, mas prefer ko talaga and may recommend ko na ganito yung bilhin nyo, guys. Kasi quality-wise, sobrang kaya makipagsabayan sa mga high-end and expensive. Kuhang-kuha nila yung scent and sobrang long-lasting.